Manny just hooked up with one. It's not foul hooked, he went full on for it, bro. Oh, yeah. I just the big ones. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of AIM Fishing. We're out here at the old Alton Bridge in Denton. And uh, today we're gonna be trying to do some bass fishing like normal. Uh, we have an overcast and slight wind, probably five miles per hour. The fish look like they're on a top water bite right now. And we're gonna try to get on them. I'm gonna throw this little Lucky Craft jerk bait right here in a little shad color. And I'm gonna try to get on a reaction bite. Once we locate them, um, I feel like they're feeding on shad right now. So once we locate them, then we'll we'll work our way up and see if we can get the get the sizes. Numbers first, sizes second in my book. But uh, yeah, so Manny's here with me, and let's see if uh, we can get some fish, Manny. This chatterbait boy on that first cast with it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this is a good one, Manny. This is a freaking. T <laughs> I was thinking that too, bro. Great minds stink alike, don't they? Yes, they do. You got that off him. Man, he just took it. Look at how he took that guy. Can you get a good camera in the... The hook set right where he wanted at the top of the lip. Black and blue chatterbait. This guy just demolished it. That is a good, <laughs> that is a good healthy bass right there. You know, it looks like he's got a fat belly, so he's probably feeding pretty good right now. I'm gonna let this guy go, but I am gonna put him on Snapchat because I like to Snapchat what I'm doing. You can follow me on Snapchat. Let me get my, uh... well actually, I'll, I'll put it in the comments or in the description, that way you can get at me on Snapchat. You know, and again, you gotta, what I like to do is, I'm a very firm believer in some certain baits that I use, but don't be that guy. You caught one fish on a lizard zoom worm one day and you're gonna wanna catch every single fish everywhere you go with it. You know, keep an open mind and always try to find a pattern. If the fish aren't biting it, if the fish is there and you make four or five casts like I did with that uh, little um, jerk bait, they didn't take it. Okay, so maybe they're not liking that. They're not. They're not feeding on. I don't know. You know. But switch it up. Keep it fresh. And you know, I was like, you know what? Murky water. They're not filling the shad. I was gonna throw a black and blue jig, which will probably still do the same amount of work that this chatterbait did. But I figured that since the water's kind of dirty and murky, I figured the chatterbait will give a little bit more water displacement, and that'll that'll you know get the fish's attention a bit more. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep casting with the chatterbait. And again, he was right at that place where I uh, where I was sinking. There's a bank right here. It's kind of like a little uh, curve out in the river. So the fish will either stack up on this end where the curve is or on that end where the bend is. They will just sit there and stalk any minnows or any bait fish that are working their way down. And you know, they'll, they'll be sure to grab them. So that lets me know that I wasn't thinking the wrong thing. Alex again here and uh, we changed locations we came out to um, to the trails we started walking around and seeing if we could find a clearing we found one 
this looks perfect for just any type of fishing. I mean, if you want crappie, there's a lot of brush and roots, you know, from the trees that they'd be hiding in. Bass are gonna be hugging that cover too, and this little muddy water, perfect for catfish. So we're gonna keep casting. Right now hooked up with a little jig head and a wire weed guard, baby brush hog, quarter ounce. And I'm just gonna make a couple casts out there under this brush and try to fish along, you know, parallel to the bank. And if there's something there, hopefully it will bite it. So I saw I saw a little stump down there. I could barely see the tip of the stump. And I thought to myself, well if there's a bass or any type of fish really, they're gonna be hugging that cover. And uh, I'm glad to know that I wasn't wrong. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm just gonna keep walking up and down and see if I can find some uh, some stumps or something. Just any cover really and uh, try to locate these fish. I just hooked up with the big one. I don't know what type of frog that is. Cool though. Let this little guy go. On about your day, pal. You scared? He's the aim fishing mascot, dude.